Hey Leo, welcome everybody. My name is Catherine. I'm doing a quick love message uh, for you guys in honor of Venus retrograde and Lion's Gate. It's going to be a very short one of the likes of other readings out there. So who they are, what they feel, what their actions are and the outcome. So let's just dive in. Let's look at who they are. The Nine of Pentacles. So you're dealing with someone extremely independent uh, that makes good money. They're very self-sufficient at the very least. And um, they're also very proud when it comes to, to being independent. So they don't really like to ask for help. Um, that would be the last resort kind of thing for them. Um, and they they have a lot of pride in what they achieve in general and what all of the and of everything they have ever achieved for that matter <laughs> um maybe they appear to be hard to get for you they might come across as hard to get so their feelings is the Four of Pentacles. They are going to open up to you. Uh, they definitely want to create an opportunity with you. Again, they're not clingy. So they're going to appear to you as if maybe slightly disinterested. But don't be fooled. Uh, this is only because of their great ability to be autonomous. It's gonna throw you off a little bit. What are their actions? The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. At the moment, they're studying you. Um, they're choosing to stand their ground, meaning they're not coming forward. They're also not revealing necessarily how they feel, even if they feel like they want to truly open up to you. They're actually not going to act on that. So it could be because they're caught up with sluggishness in their own affairs, and maybe they have to deal with that. Maybe they feel that they don't have a chance with you. They could feel out of luck or down on their luck when it comes to you. Let's look at the potential outcome. The Four of Swords. For the moment, the snapshot of energy is uh, someone that's going to stay on the sidelines from you. They're not going to let you know how they feel. They're going to very much hide it basically there's two ways they're going to hide it they're not going to be very close to you uh, visible to you for you to notice it and if not they're going to be truly very poker face about it they could be um, obviously spending time like I hinted taking care of something that's sluggish for them that's really got them on hold, on pause. So that could be something that prevents them from coming forward because they do have feelings. They they actually want to open up. So let's look at angel, uh, the romance angel cards and see. Excuse me, I almost dropped the card. I'm curious. Separation, okay. So the Doreen Virtue card now points to a different meaning, overall meaning for this reading. So I'm gonna f give you another interpretation as well. But before I do, I'm just gonna say, maybe this person is taking time out um, not necessarily from you in terms of separating from you, although I'm going to go into that because that's a possibility now. 
but it could be that they're separating and healing from someone else, a previous relationship, something that wouldn't have worked out in the past, right, for them. But since this is towards you, um, maybe they're wanting to be independent from you. They've dropped the connection because nothing was moving forward or going the way they wanted it. And maybe they're separating and taking some time off, taking a big break from you. So unfortunately, it looks to be another way of reading this. <laughs> And I apologize because it's not so pleasant to hear, I guess, unless it's really your story. Let's look at the advice. You get hope. I really enjoy that. I'm not going to bother with the subtext. Uh, really, the key word is hope. So maybe the first interpretation about this person having separated from someone else that is not you is giving you hope uh, you're going to be able to wait on them because you know that they're on a break you know that it's only a matter of time before things pick up so whoops so you have hope that things will change and evolve so hopefully that's the <laughs> no pun intended here yeah hopefully that's the case for you and if not then it's hope uh, having an a hopeful outcome in terms of, you know, you yourself being okay on your own. I do. I know this card is about who they are, but to give you some advice, I'm pulling on it to tell you that maybe you're okay on your own at the moment and you can remain hopeful that a good relationship will come your way. So like the video, share and subscribe if it meant something to you, if it resonated at all. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.